This follows reports that hours after the lockdown took effect on Wednesday, persons tried to leave St. Catherine via JUTC buses. JUTC Corporate Communications Manager Cesa Toms says persons will only be allowed on buses during the stipulated time announced by the Prime Minister. Between the hours of 5 a.m. and 8 a.m., only personnel in the essential services may ride the buses with appropriate identification. We are insisting on appropriate identification because we have received reports of persons fleeing um, when it's not Portmore, it's Spanish Town. Between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., only persons 65 years and older, pregnant persons and the disabled may ride the buses within St. Catherine. Between 10 a.m. and 1.30, persons with surnames beginning with letters A to M may ride the buses with appropriate identification. Between 1.30 and 5 p.m., persons with surnames beginning with the letters N to Z may ride the buses. And the JUTC is looking to fast-track efforts to move to a cashless system amid the threat of the coronavirus. Transport Minister Robert Mondegu made the disclosure in the House of Representatives on Wednesday. We are also moving to have discussions with the PPC, the Procurement Commission, with regards to a cashless system, because it is said that the virus can be spread with, with money, so we're trying to move to a cashless system. So we had that application before PPC, before this period, because the system that is on the JUTC is old, and obsolete, the company that manufactures don't even make parts for the system. So we were far advanced in acquiring a cashless system. And so we have accelerated the, the procurement process. Mr. Montague said the JUTC is also testing safety cages to keep drivers separate from passengers. We are investigating a cage for the drivers, not only because we, we were at, in advance with the cage because of security, reasons even before COVID because a number of our drivers were attacked while they are driving so we're doing a, a safety cage and we have a prototype we're looking at it. it it has been fitted in four buses already and we are making some adjustments in consultation with the unions. Sandy Williams Frontline News.